Okay, now that folks, I'm back. Here's the new fuel pump that we're gonna be replacing. It's all right, where is it? Where is it? GM genuine parts. GM and as well as okay, let's unbox it. Okay, this was with the new fuel pump. Looks like, right. see, this it goes like this. Okay. Connection pump. This is the high pressure side. This is the intake side. It goes just like that, right? Now we have a gasket that goes on it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. They got that gasket and. This is where it plunges. See this part? Ugh. I can't push it, but in the camshaft, the camshaft has, has a lobe that keeps pushing the plunger so that fuel can pump through. But the problem is, inside here, somehow fuel is finding its way from there out here into the, to the engine, so you end up with the have an engine oil that smells like gas. Uh, several problems. Anyway, that's what this is the pump and the high pressure at the bottom of the fuel line is this. Part number for this is it's a GM par number 1260837. GM Genuine Parts. Let's take it out. It's a pressure compression tape. Low size. It goes from what I could see. It's going to go like this. Just, this goes to the fuel pump on the top here, and this goes to the engine block at the bottom, just like that. All right, let's leave this on for now. Okay, now we have to take the pressure off the fuel lines. To do that, we have to. Well, there's several ways to do that. Well, I'm gonna go old school. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a drain catch underneath there, underneath there, and crack the lines, let it drain down, and I'll catch it. All right. It's size 17. It's a GM vehicle. I don't know why it's not standard. Instead, it's using metric size. Uh, Matrix size bolts that fit wrenches. Um, anyway, it's size 17. This line here. See that? And yet, instead of letting it drain down to the pan and having it go over the engine, that would just put some towels over the patch. A lot of it. Ooh, it's no gas.
have it, folks. The old fuel line is out. All right. Now it's time to take out this quick connect. And the size I'm using is... So you go put it on. Let it rest against it. Push the fuel line in. Push this one further in, and then now pull the fuel line back out. All right, just like that. Voila! You see these uh, markings inside? That's fine. That's exactly what you can push it. All right. Now we have the fuel lines disconnected. We gotta do is just stick the fuel pump out. Right. The fuel pump has two bolts holding it in place, and they are number ten. And if you see it, yep, the number 10. Again, keep the good socket. In fact, I'm going to do use my wrench. Mm -hmm. I thought they would be super duper tight, but. One bolt. Let's get this pushing, I guess. Oh. Let's blow on bolts. Here's the other one. All right. Uh, the fuel pump. You just gotta wiggle it. And ease it on out to take it out just because if you look closely on the new one there's this part of it that actually fits into the engine and there's an o-ring on there so it's gotta be tight coming out so I'm gonna wiggle it and pull it back wiggle it pull it back This is what the old one looks like. This is where we have probably fuel going inside. Here's the old basket. I'm gonna show y'all something in there that is important, I believe, which is we got part in there. I wanted you guys to see inside. This is what it looks like. And when you put it back in, the new one, you see this? Piece in there, we have to turn the crankshaft so that that's all the way in. That's the lobe that, plunge, that hits the plunger. If you can see it when you put the new one back in, we have to make sure that's the furthest in that it could go before installing the new one. In there. They sell a tool that tells you the measurement, but I was gonna go old school and spin it or use a screwdriver on my fingers to see. You know that the load is seated all the way back in. All right, 